Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Charlene Marie. Welcome to Charlene Marie Lifestyle. So today we're going to have a chit chat and also I'm going to show um, about 10 pair of my luxury sunglasses that I have. My luxury sunglasses have been um, a collection that I've been building over the last probably about six, seven years. And so if you're interested, just keep watching. Also, my luxury sunglasses. Um, these sunglasses, like I said, I've been collecting over time. However, it's not my entire collection. I'm just showing um, 10 pair today. And my collection is steadily growing, by the way. So I hope everybody is having a great day. We're going to have a great time with this video. And then also we're going to be having a chit chat because I wanted to catch you up on a few things at the end. So first, we have my Gucci glasses. And these are one of my favorites. Some of my glasses I wear more than others just because I love the fit and I love the weight. I love these Gucci glasses so much even though I'm only showing um, one color. Um, these Gucci glasses are in a smoked pink tint. I just love how they look. It reminds me of the 60s or 70s very luxurious it's just a thing i really like them um another thing i like about these sunglasses is that these sunglasses i have a more of a fuller round face and high cheekbones and i feel that these sunglasses complement my face and the way i like to wear my hair i love to wear my hair straight with the middle part if you haven't noticed <laughs> So it complements my hair Even when I wear my hair in a ponytail. I like to wear it in a high like ninja type bun or I like to wear my hair in a um, high ninja bun or I like to wear my hair in a um, ponytail pull to the back. So either 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 way these glasses are like a good fit. These glasses are perfect to be dressed up, dressed down. They're just like everyday sunnies but they are definitely here to elevate any outfit. Once again, these are Gucci glasses. I don't even think they will be able to be linked. I bought these glasses at least three years ago and I will show you an up close picture of them so you can see them. So these here, let's focus. As you can see, they have uh, green Gucci pearls on the like the temple part of the glasses or not the temple on the edges part of the glasses and one thing I like about getting luxury sunglasses is I love how the ones that I choose in particular always have little details so they need a little cleaning <laughs> but these are one of my actual favorite pair of sunglasses and I wear them quite often if you go on my Instagram, you will probably see that I've wore these glasses um, several times on my Instagram because I just love them. So as we can see, like I said, I've had these maybe about three years. They still look brand new. Um, like my whole collection of glasses are all just luxury sunglasses. But these are Gucci and I do have these in another color because you know how your girl do it. When I like something, I buy it in two and three colors. So this is sunglass number one. They're Gucci, I don't even know what they're called. And I don't even know what they're called, they're Gucci, but like I said, this is um, just my sunglass collection, things that I like, things that I've collected over the years. I love sunglasses. I do wear prescription glasses, but during the daytime, pretty much I, well, really every day, including night, I really don't wear contacts pretty much all the time. So my next pair of glasses is going to be a pair of porch glasses and I'm going to put them on. So 
How these came about is I actually was going to get a pair of Ray-Ban because I needed something. Um, I do ride Harley Davidson motorcycle. And when we ride, I like sometimes to have, depending on the wind factor, I like to have a pair of sunglasses that can take a lot of wind. So I was going to purchase a pair of um, Ray-Ban and then um, the person that I purchased glasses from said, well, have you ever tried Porsche? I'm like, Porsche? Porsche makes sunglasses? So they recommended me to get these Porsche glasses. And I'm in love. So you will see that Courtney Car not was it Courtney Kardashian? No, 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 no. Chloe Kardashian. Chloe Kardashian, this is like her go-to frame. And um, I never knew what they were, but now I know she's in love with the Porsche and I see why. They're very lightweight and they're just a thing. So I just really love these glasses as well. And a big thing about these Porsche sunglasses that I love is they have an interchangeable lens. So this pops open here and this lens come out. This lens comes out. So you can see the lens is out. Where's the case? This is the case that the Porsche sunglasses comes with. And I'm going to show you what the other lens looks like. Ah! I cannot believe I just dropped my lens. I want to scream. By the way, Replacement lenses for these glasses is like $100. Oh okay. Back to the story. So I'm popping in the Porsche lens. Eh, I cannot believe. And I normally carry my cases with all of my glasses. Meaning when I wear my glasses out, I always keep the cases with me. For that reason, I don't like to sit my cases on. I don't like to sit my sunglasses on tables or anything. I like all of my sunglasses to be in its case at all times for protection because luxury sunglasses are not cheap. I'm changing the lens, but I'm put, I'm keeping one lens the same and I'm changing the other because I want you to see the variation in color. So just, ah, I dropped my other lens. Stephanie, you know what? Y'all, sometimes I started not to take the lens out, right? But I knew someone would ask, well, if the lens are interchangeable, why didn't you change them to show us? So I was like, let me take the lens out so I can show you guys. And now I'm driving lenses. Stephanie. And there is a scratch. But it's cool. It's very, very superficial, but I can see it but that's okay okay so I've changed the lens and I don't know if you can see this is the blue this is the brown there is other lens choices but these are the two lenses that I've chose so I can't remember what I paid for these glasses but as you can see it's like having two pair of sunglasses in one because you can interchange the lens and I do know this particular frame even comes like with a different color. I believe like there's a white um, frame and like a black frame. But of course I've chosen like a bronzy golden frame because you know that's my look like. Well all of the luxury sunglasses of course come with a case. But with the, with inter the interchangeable Porsche lens there's a little tab here and you pull them out it's like a little tab in the middle is black and you put the extra lens in there so you can keep the extra lenses with you all the time but they're definitely a vibe next we're going to do another Gucci frame what you will see throughout this is I love Gucci no faking I just do Gucci frames are really just my go-to it frame why because they're bomb <laughs> for me so 
even though we're doing sunglasses these are sunglasses but what I did was I got a special lens put in here so when I'm inside the glasses look like this when I go outside it's completely triple black dark even if it's hardly any sun out they go sunglass like tint so these are Gucci once again um, for some reason I don't wear these as often um, but I do love them I love it kind of like a cat eye I love it I love these frames they're everything they're just so cute when I wear them your girl feels so dainty and cute I love them so once again these are Gucci And another thing that I like about buying luxury sunglasses is when you buy luxury sunglasses, if anything happens, if anything goes wrong, you can contact like Gucci or have your optometrist or whoever contact the manufacturer and they'll replace the sunglasses. No questions asked, no drama. And I really love that. And by the way, I'm having a sip of coffee. So... Heavy did Gucci. Oh, I wore these recently, and this is another pair of sunglasses that I love. I just love them all. <laughs> They're Gucci. They were two seasons ago. I don't know. I don't keep up with the seasons. When I see a pair of frames, I love them. I buy them, and that's pretty much that's that. But what you would notice is. I do have some sunglasses with like dark, like very dark tint, but some sunglasses I like to have a gradient tint, meaning um, darker up at the top and gets lighter at the bottom so you can see because I do like to keep my glasses on at restaurants and things of that nature. And so I like glasses that are not too dark that you can see out of, but provides plenty of protection for your eyes when you're in the sun such as these so sometimes I wear certain sunglasses more than others because I like the visibility I love to be able to wear <clears throat> my glasses like all day when I put them on because y'all one day I set my glasses down somewhere and they weren't in a case they were missing and that was a lesson learned normally when I'm out if I take them off I put them in my case and put them in my purse or I keep them on or I keep them on all day that those are my options and so yeah I love these and what you will see too is a lot of my sunglasses have very very similar shape because shapes because I do love this shape and Gucci does not miss for me and you can see they have the double G's the front. There's nothing special on the side. They're just, they do say Gucci here, but they're just green, like a minty green. A little makeup got on there. But yeah, these are my Gucci frames that I love. Maybe I just should stop saying that I love because clearly I love them all. So y'all, my phone just rung. I thought those were my friends. We're going to this Mexican restaurant. And my friends are like, let's go. Let's be there at one o'clock. I'm like, no, I'll be to pick you guys up at one o'clock because I'm filming a YouTube video. I didn't tell them that part. So when they see this video, they're going to be like, girl, you had us starving while you filming a whole YouTube video. <laughs> I had to get this video done because the girlies were asking. They said, we need to see some sunglasses. So I'm not saying that these are glasses that you have to own or you have to go out and buy. All I'm saying is these are my sunglasses that I purchased. Now here's another pair of glasses. They are sunglasses. Um, even though the tint is clear, these are called Mew Mews. Here is the brand. So it's um, called Mew Mew. M-I-U, M-I-U. So, these were straight sunglasses. I had a special lens put in a transitional lens where they're stark clear when I'm inside. And as soon as I go out, even if there is no sun, they're still going to turn, you know, black. Um, 
I love these glasses. They remind me a little bit of the Gucci glasses with the um, These are some type of um, crystals and rhinestones. It's just Miu Miu is a whole vibe. I do love Miu Miu glasses but lately the frames have been a little small for me so I haven't been purchasing from Miu Miu as much as I have in the past. But Miu Miu is a whole vibe. So I love these glasses and the tips are just mimicking the inside of the glasses really. Okay so now we're gonna show some 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 glasses that are kind of blacked out. These are Gucci. Um, I do have this same frame in a few different colors. The lenses I should say in a few different colors. But these when we go into concerts, when I'm at the marina, when it's a nice sunny day, these, these are the ones. These are frameless. They're just it. They have that it factor. That's why I own them in three different colors. I have one with a pink lens, one with a bronze lens, brown gradient lens, and then I have the ones with this lens, of course the black lens. But reminds me of the 60s. I like how the arms of these sunglasses, they're further down. They're not in the middle, but they're, they're heavy. I will not lie, but I just love the weight of them and they're everything. And in the middle here, they say Gucci. They do say Gucci on the inside of the arms and on the out, but I just love the simplicity of them. Um, unless I'm wearing the Drama 5 Mew Mews or the glitter or the rhinestone Gucci's, a lot of my glasses are extra but understated at the same time if that makes sense but you get it the girls who get it get it so these babies oh my god i was on hold oh my gosh i was on hold forever trying to get these particular glasses okay let me show you these are mew mew brand it's the other glasses and what I like about these glasses is they're just drama. Like, they're just everything. Definitely worth the splurge. The tint, the rhinestones, they're huge. These glasses will never go out of style. And that's the thing when I, that I look for when I'm buying sunglasses. I look at things from a longevity standpoint of, will I get tired of these glasses? Of course, these are not everyday sunnies, but every summer, these glasses come out. They make an appearance every single summer. And every summer, I get so many questions on these glasses, and I love them. That's another thing that I enjoy about luxury sunglasses. You can have them for long periods of time, and they still look great. So, these are it. And in the middle, they have like this gold nose bridge. And on the inside, it's nothing special. So, my optometrist introduced me to these glasses. And then it took forever for me to get them. Because, unbeknownst to me, Beyonce had these glasses when she was pregnant. I don't know if it was with the twins she wore these glasses somewhere and they were like sold out forever but I did finally get them but I like them not because who wore them I like big frames all of my glasses pretty much are big frames I have no little framed glasses oh uh, you remember I talked about the Gucci glasses right that I had in multiple colors. Well, I brought the pink ones down too. And this, I wear these a lot. Like every day. Winter, summer, fall, all of that, I wear these. They're my faves. 
So these are Gucci and their vibe. Do you agree? So, of course they're heavy, just like the other ones I took off. They have the pink gradient tint. You can see right through them. As I said, I like glasses that you can see through. So I can keep them on all day. The diamonds, because we know we girls love diamonds, right? So, these are Cartier Buffs. Buffalo Cartiers because the arms are a special type of um, buffalo. And we can see the diamonds. And the lens has a gradient tint, You're darker at the top. And then at the bottom, the lens gets um, lighter. So once again, when you're out, you can see. I love Cartier. I've always loved Cartier. My first pair of Cartier glasses, I was like 19. And I had my first pair of special made Cartier. The diamonds that were put in them. But I'm definitely a fan, clearly. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing a few pair of my luxury sunglasses. So I hope you guys enjoyed viewing some of my sunglasses, some of my favorite sunglasses. Um, I enjoyed showing you guys. So I told you I did want to discuss a few things, just have a little chit chat. First, um, someone commented in a previous video um, stating they thought I was going to try some things on, but I did not. When I'm having a try on haul. The video will say try on haul when it comes to clothing and when it comes to undergarments like my last video I discussed undergarments such as bras I will not be trying on any undergarments on my YouTube channel um, everyone has their level of comfort and it's a no for me so I'm sorry if they were under the impression that I was but I didn't because I'm not this week has been a crazy week my dog has been sick my dog had a severe ear infection and you guys it's been one long week so he's dealing with like some type of yeast infection I don't know if it's because of his diet well I know his diet is a contributing factor we have limited his table food to literally none unless he's getting medication that's the only way I can give him medication is if I give him chicken we no longer give him lamb chops we no longer give him steak he just gets a little chicken and I mean a little so we have him on hydrolyzed dog food we've made like every dietary change like even his treats are like you know special treats we give him hydro was it hydrolyzed treats I do give him the other treats from Petco I personally don't think that's the issue I just think it was from over time him eating a lot of probably table food we removed the table food he had to go to the vet and it was a whole big thing but let me let let me know if you guys have pets at home let me know if you guys have experienced some type of yeast or fungal issue with your dogs, with their ears in particular, looking their paws, lesions on their paws, or just any type of skin conditions. Let me know what you guys do because even though we take him to the vet, this is very exhausting. And so I've had a very exhausting week. And so, you know, that's really that. 
and also I wanted to fill you guys in on the Yeti mic let me go get it okay so this is the Yeti mic I bought this mic when I started like after I did like my first or second video for YouTube I noticed that when I did my voiceovers my voice was a little like I was in a hole in my opinion and I'm like no so I did mic researches and then I settled on this mic and I feel that it definitely does what needs to be done and I definitely would recommend this mic it's once again called the Yeti mic and so one of my subscribers um, asked about um, how did I enjoy this mic and I really enjoy it so when I'm doing voiceovers if you would notice there's not a huge transition in voice it's more smooth it doesn't sound like I'm clear and then when I'm doing a voiceover I'm in a hole so if you guys are looking to start a YouTube channel or you do things where you need a mic for voice recording voice dictation this mic is definitely worth the money and um, so my overall review of this mic is a yes I saw great reviews I have saw mixed reviews but for a youtuber doing voiceovers this is definitely a great mic my sunroom I have not touched my sunroom and here we are in the middle the beginning of June but that's okay your girl is going to get to it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to get this sunroom together this week so we can do a reveal we can talk about the items in the sunroom and we can um, really begin to enjoy that space for the summer I just been super busy and truth be told by me being a new youtuber um, I had to get acclimated to recording um, I'm really beginning to enjoy recording and oh one other thing my fingers so this is how I will be getting my nails done for a long time the my four fingers will be long my thumbs will be short and so my thumbs are not broke if you guys exactly. enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe you know you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. My Instagram is Charlene Marie Lifestyle. My um, Facebook is Charlene Marie Lifestyle as well. But you guys, I better get out of here because my friends are going to get me. They're going to be like, Stephanie, we're starving. And they don't know I'm recording YouTube. <laughs> okay, gotta go. See you guys next week. Bye.